Hey everybody, Cheryl here. I'm back. I'm trying to get my lighting a little bit better here. Um, I just did a request video where somebody was curious, um, you know, once you buy my mixes, how do you mix it in acrylic? So I just did that one. This is another request video. Um, it's about, you know, um, using bright neon colors. And, you know, some people what you do is you lay on the practice nail you lay um like white acrylic down so you get a better pop of color um or even with other other things i've seen where people have used white acrylic as the base and then put you know like a colored uh, acrylics or colored glitter mixes or whatever um what i have found to be a huge time saver and not only a time saver um it's you know, when you start laying, you know, multiple layers of acrylic, it just, it tends to get thicker and you, you have to do a lot of filing. So what I find is easier for me anyway, is I just use white nail polish. So I have already prepped this nail with white nail polish, but I only put one coat down. So all I'm using here is this is the clean color, um, white um, just plain old white nail polish. You can use any kind of white nail polish. Um, I'm going to put a second coat on just because I don't know if the one coat is going to be thick enough. Um, I mean, it probably will be. I'm just hoping it dries because <laughs> everybody knows who uses clean color. Knows it, I don't know, unless it's just me, but the clean color seems to dry, take longer to dry for me. Um, Again, it could be because of where I live. Um, I don't know, but it just seems like clean color brand does take a long time to dry for me. So what I'm going to do is to kind of hurry this up. So I'm going to put it in my UV light and just kind of let it start drying there. Because, um, again, you know, when you're laying acrylics and stuff, you, you really, you know... It can get thick, and and I just think that doing it this way, um, you know, you save down on the on thickness, and it saves on time. I mean, it takes a long time to lay white acrylic down and then do something, you know, on top of it. So, um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just cleaning my brush off. I just did a video where I just had to use a glitter mix. So I have some glitter still on my brush here. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to be doing is. I'm going to be using, I have already mixed up some yellow, orange, and pink. Um, this is acrylic um, neons here. And I'm going to just show you. You don't need it as thick. I'm hoping it'll show up because my lighting here really sucks right now. So I'm hoping that it will actually show up on camera where I'm going to do it on just a regular nail like this. And I'm going to do it on the nail that I have drying right now in my light. So you can see. So actually, while well, I'm letting that one dry, I'm going to do this one. So um, I'm just going to do a thin layer of my acrylic. This is um, an orange. And I'm going to try to lay it the same is I'm going to lay on, am I in the frame? No, I'm not in the frame. So I'm going to try to lay it the same thickness on this nail as I'm going to lay it on the other one. So it's going to be a thin layer. So, alrighty. And I'm going to then add some pink. I'm just going to blend it in. This is hard angle for me to do. Um, just going to add some more pink here. So I, I'm sorry if I'm taking way too long. This is, this is just a very hard angle for me. So 
Um, all right, here, yellow. I'm gonna stick some yellow right up here on the top. And I just laid them next to each other. I mean, if I was gonna do my nails, I'd probably do kind of a different design type thing, but this is just a tutorial, so I'm not gonna get too fancy. But you will be able to see that I am using the same thickness of acrylic um, on both nails. So this is, like I said, this is without the polish. And um, all right, you can kind of see, let me get this out of the way. This is the nail that I didn't have nail polish on. Now, if you can see that, and if I take my hand away from it, you can kind of see through it. Um, if I put my, you know, so, all right, I'm gonna grab the other nail. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this under the light just so it dries a little bit. All right, so here's the nail that I um, painted white polish on. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Um, as I did with the other one, same thickness. I'm gonna put it on very thin. I think I, yeah, I started with the orange. So here you go. Same thickness. And again, this is with the white polish. So in, in the white polish, it'll help bring out the neon colors. This is also saving you from having too thick of nails by putting white underneath of acrylic. Um, this is, and then I just, I blend. And of course with the white polish, you can see how much it blends, which is kind of cool. So that's actually pretty all by itself. If I did a teal, I love teal. So <laughs> if I did a teal and let it blend up on the white, that'd be cool. So, all right, I did pink next. So let me grab some pink and then just place it in there. And that pink is nice and bright, holy cow. And then we will blend the pink up. Again, if I was doing my own nails, I'd probably do something a little bit fancier than just this gradient type style. I probably would, I don't know, lay it a little bit differently. But. This is just to show you a time-saving little trick. So um, I don't have to be too perfect. <laughs> and then the yellow. And put that in there. I'm going to blend that in that way a little bit. Uh, there we go. Alrighty. So now I'm going to grab the other nail and do a comparison here for you. As soon as this stops running, let me clean my brush. That is like super important to get all the glitter and acrylic out of your brush or your brush is ruined. So, alrighty. Now, here's the comparison. Let me move the bright colors out of the background here so you can see. I don't know if you can see the comparison, but it's definitely definitely much better if you use I'm gonna set them here um, I gotta get it to focus if you can see this one here is with the white this one here is without the white and you can definitely see I'm gonna take like I did before you can't see any shadow behind that 
you can definitely see shadow behind that. And the, the colors are just, not only are they more vibrant, they seem to have blended better. Where this one, you can kind of see where the colors were orange, pink, and yellow. And again, I'm going to really come in here with my light. <clears throat> So you can see that, um, I don't know if this is going to work, but um, you can really see that if the one here where I use the white nail polish as a base, it just really blended nicely. And I'm trying to do this with one hand because I have to hold my, oh shoot, that was so wet. I have to hold this with one hand. And I just touched it oh shoot oh well <laughs> so I mucked it up who cares it's just a practice nail right alrighty so side by side this one you can definitely tell much better um, much better so um god my lighting just sucks um so anyway, there it is. Um, time saver trick. White polish as a base. This is just neon. So of course, you know, you could get kind of the same effect without putting a base down, but you're going to have to lay a lot more acrylic to get the the neon that you want. So I don't know. You, you tell me. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm going to get moving on here because I am 11 minutes into my video. So anyway, if you have any questions, just ask. Um, again, if you guys have any requests where you want me to show you some tips and tricks, um, that's great. I need to also state I am not a professional. This is how I do it. This I'm not saying this is the right way. This is the way I do it. Um, I'm sure there's many other ways out there to do this, um, but... Again, disclaimer, this is the way I do it. <laughs> so, alrighty, guys. Love you all. Um, again, comment, like, um, and let me know. I could do, you know, if you want me to do something else, I'll, you know, be more than happy to help. So, talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.